live. Welcome back to Adventure Games Thursday night. This is part two and we are playing Memoria. So let's join and go back to where we left off. Alright, so um, let's keep going. I don't want to wake her. Okay, Nuri is sleeping and I already forgot where we left off. Let's see. I'm getting some weird artifacts on my stream. It should not happen. Alright, let's go. You ugly beasts. After I solve Fai's riddle, I'll hopefully never have to lay my eyes on you again. I prefer the well outside the gates, and since yesterday, I also know why. Anyone who's different will end up there sooner or later. At least I was spared that when I was young. So, we have to solve Fahi's riddle and figure out what the hell happened to the uh, people uh, in uh, that got turned into stone at the camp. So I can go to the marketplace or into the forest. Let's try into the forest. I know. Before yeah. I... Yeah, okay. I have to go to the marketplace. Once Gwynling was gone, the Tanner's Guild tried to get their hands on the house. Luckily, Giacomo knew enough noblemen open to bribery. The warriors in the temple don't like me. They think I'm a cowardly louse who only brings them misfortune in combat. At least that's what they say. Let's talk to the merchant. I bid you a good morning. What is a jester doing in Hilda's booth? I'm no mountebank. I'm a businessman. Should I wear rags like you? Oh, how I loathe these country bumpkins. What was that? Nothing, nothing. Can I interest you in some colourful ceramics? Or perhaps some fine glassware? I'm just passing through, so it's now or never. You deal in glassware? I heard that there is no glass in Undergast. You don't even have windows in this humble corner of the world. I came here to change that. How was I supposed to know that these stinking pig farmers don't have any money? Well, go figure. Did you notice anything suspicious last night? Hmm. Did the thief visit you too? What thief? One of my glass boxes was stolen. I could only see the fellow from a distance. He carried a long staff on his back. Blasted herdsman. Maybe it was a magic staff. By the gods. What would a magician want with my cheap goods? I mean, I wouldn't have thought this rebel had that much taste. What was stolen? A jewelry box made from fake gemstones. The junk wasn't worth anything anyway. Then why was it stolen? D did I say that out loud? It was worth a fortune, of course. I guess this is the same dialogue. What was stolen? A jewelry box? Yeah. Then why d did I... It was... Can you tell me anything about a stone and a scarab? Is it a regular stone or a precious stone? Hmm, good question. That's enough. Thanks. Weren't you going to buy anything? No, thank you. Such a waste of time. Yeah, as, as if you had anything better to do. Uh, Rondos Temple, marked with taproom. Mmm, I hate it. The smell of pork roast is in the air and I haven't eaten a thing all day. The children bathing. Go into the inn. They seem so cheerful and carefree. Hard to believe that at some point they'll grow up to be Andergastrians. Yes, let's spy on children bathing. Academy of Magic. Let's look at the I shepherd. Distract him. The sheep will be slaughtered soon enough. I can go to the Academy of Magic or back to the tap room of the inn. Let's go to the inn. Geron! Giacomo! Hello, Geron. Hello, Hilda. What luck! Here I was thinking I'd sent you to your doom. Is it true what they say? Have people really been turned into stone pillars? Yes, it's true. By the gods! 
How do you know Fahi? I met him on my travels. He was said to own a rare fairy artifact I was interested in. He's an artifact dealer? He trades in them. But I never got the impression that he knows much about them. He even tried to sell me the fairy artifact as a mere ritual stone from the southern jungles. <laughs> he had no idea what a treasure he was sitting on. If Fahi is just a simple merchant, where did he get the power to transform Nuri back? I don't know his secret, but I saw it with my own eyes. We were enjoying a cup of Tulamid gold when he brought out a pot with a berry bush and transformed it into a crane before my very eyes. It could have been an illusion. No, Geron. It was the most powerful magic I have ever seen. And he was smiling cheerfully as though it was no effort at all. Geron. That man can mold lives into other forms as he wishes. Even into stone? I assume so. What about Fahi's dream? Princess Saja's journey? He only told me the beginning. Do you know the rest? No. But the battle which he joined was the great battle in the Gorian Desert between the demon lord Borbarat and Rohal the Wise. All Aventuria struggled to save the world from the demon invasion. Unfortunately, there was no one who could relate the tale. Why not? There wasn't a single survivor. So, how do people know? What about Fahi's riddle? The stone and the scarab? I don't know. But perhaps it's the key to this whole story. Can a single riddle really be that important? Fahi seemed convinced of it. Let's talk about something else. I love this interruption of dialogue. Like, you are deep into a conversation and you finish all your choices, so the character automatically chooses the last one. Which is like, yeah, okay, let's talk about something else. Let's. Totally not how normal conversations are supposed to work. So, Giacomo, tell, How's the fairy tell me about yourself. All my energy is going into researching the reasons for Nuri's tragic transformation. It's difficult enough to study a people that don't even exist in Aventuria. Now I have to understand an exchange of souls between a raven and a fairy as well. I don't know how I can ever repay you for your help. Well, um, there is something... Tell me. Can you bring me some wine from Hilda's bar? She won't give me any. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Geron. You can put it in here. All right, there was a fifth guy who escaped the turning into stone Were thing. Were you here yesterday evening? Yes, but in my room. The mood downstairs was too aggressive for me. There was a lot of alcohol involved. Can you remember who was here? Hmm. The three at the next table and then four others. Five people attacked Fahi's tent yesterday, but only four were petrified. So the fifth must be here in this room. But so... which of the three is it? All right, it's three people. I, I didn't see the guy sleeping. All right, Thanks, so we have to I'll see you later. talk Wait, to Fahi these three may guys. Prove to be a dark mage, but if you want to transform Nuri back, He's our only hope. What are you talking about? Fairies need fairy magic nearby, or their spirit changes. And for a long time, Nuri's body was the greatest source of fairy magic that she had. That means if you don't change her back soon, she'll lose everything that makes her a fairy. She'll forget everything. She'll forget who you are and what you experience together. She'll even forget who she once was. We can't let that happen. Do you have any idea what happened to Fai? No, but I will soon. All right, hey, so the stakes the mob in the have been raised. Today? They're very obstinate fellows. I'll handle them somehow. I'll handle them. Pork roast, let's turn the pork roast. A sight for the gods. Crispy? Is this like an achievement or something? I don't know. Looks like we got an achievement, guys. Let's see if I can carve a part of the pork roast. Well, looks oh, like... Travia, I needed I that. can. Oh, he actually ate it. Okay, this Giacomo is... wants me to fill it with red wine. Right, so let's fill the wine jar with wine. Hilda would have to tap the barrel first. Oh, she, she's probably going to refuse, isn't she? Let's see... If what I can interact with, let's talk to Hilda. I thought you didn't see me. Hello, Hilda. Well, hello there. Let's talk since about you. Since when are you the new barmaid? Oh, since the sewing season. Did you miss me in the marketplace? I was just asking. Can I ask this again? Since when... Oh, okay, did never you mind. I was... 
wine. What kind of wine is that? <laughs> That's red Garon, Garon. From the North Marshes. Sounds delicious, huh? Actually, it sounds like someone owes me a sample. I'm sorry, but this barrel has been ordered and paid in advance by Count Fendrick Rosling. He's going to pick it up tonight. So I guess I cannot tap into the barrel. Can you tell me who was here yesterday Yet. evening? Everybody that's here now. And then Wolfram with his sister and two friends. But they say something happened to them in the forest yesterday. Thanks. That's all I need to know. See you all later, right, Hilda. Hilda. Don't keep me waiting. She is all, all hot for you. Oh, Garon. Garon, please leave the barrel alone. The wood is old and fragile. Oh, I can use magic to break it, actually. Yep. The wine now flows freely to the ground. This is going to take a while. I'll just put the carafe under the drip and have a look at the ham while I wait. Fex be thanked. She didn't notice a thing. Can I repair it back? No, it's fine. All right. Now I got some wine for Giacomo. Thank you, Geron. Don't mention it. Um, See you later. Not sure what was the point of doing this. Let's talk to these guys. These Were the three happy of you fellows. Here last night? Who's asking? Just tell me, where you? None of your business. All three of us were here. The whole night. The whole godless night. Hmm. I thought this was a girl, actually. Let's question the sleepy head first. Hey, you! Wake up! Mm -hmm. Where were you last night? Playing cards. And? Drinking. The whole evening? I don't know. Maybe. Why are you staring at the boy like that? I'm counting the lice on his head. Don't distract me. Did you do that last night too? No. Last night I got stewed and did my father proud. By Swafnir, did I quaff a lot. So you were here the whole evening? Yeah, right in this spot. These guys are a bit hungover. You seem to be very relaxed. My wife gave me the day off. And that, after I spent half of last night carousing. A good woman. Just drinking? Not much. I had to play cards with my friend here, after all. Who won? Well, I did. This bum was a lot more drunk than I was and had to run outside all the time. Was he gone long? No. Not very long, but long enough. Stupid. You should never leave an experienced player completely alone at the table in the middle of a game. An expensive lesson, but a necessary one. You spent the whole evening here playing cards and drinking? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. That's all I'm going to get out of him. So you fleeced your sleeping friend playing cards? Yes. Every time he left me alone at the table, he came back a sure loser. That shows how inexperienced he is in games and in alcohol. So you fleece... Yes. Hey. So you oh, shit. All right, I got this. That's for the question with Torvalian. You were stretched out drunk on the table the whole evening. Is that a crime? No, 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 I'm just asking. Express suspicion. I think one of you is lying. And who is that supposed to be? Sleepy guy. The sleepy head there. And what makes you say that? Hmm. Hmm. This is interesting. Uh just forget it. One of you went to help attack the Tullamede in the forest last night, and I want to know who. Beat it. No one here is ratting out anybody. Exactly. Hmm. If I want a confession, I'll have to be a 
Alright, I have to be a little more, more clever. So I can accuse somebody. So this one is sleepy, this one is relaxed, this one is a bit depressed or something. You were stretched out drunk on the table the whole evening. Is that a crime? No, 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 I'm just asking. So one guy was drunk the whole evening. So you fleeced your sleeping friend playing cards. Yes. That shows how we next Alright. This guy doesn't seem depressed. He seems more sleepy. You spent the whole evening here and maybe that's all I'm gonna mm. I think one of you And who I think it's Thorvalian. Or the lumberjack is lying. You and what makes you say that? The others were much too drunk. You are the only one who could have made it to the forest. And what if I wasn't in the forest at all? That doesn't prove a thing. And now let me smoke my pipe in peace. Hmm. Hey. I think one And who? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the lumberjack is lying. And what You said you were alone every time your friend went out to relieve himself. There's no one here who can testify where you were during that time. Yes, there is his purse. If I had taken off, how could I have won every blasted game? And now, leave me alone. Uh, this is more like brute hey, forcing than anything, actually. And who? Sorry, with the Thorwellian. Let's see and what, makes you what say options that? I have. He claims to have been passed out here all night, but you said that you were alone every time you cheated yeah, exactly. at cards. Hmm, that's true. Now that you mention it, he was gone a pretty long time. Shh, quiet. I have to count. Where were you? Not with my wife again, were you? Blast. Now I miscounted. Hey, I asked you a question. Stop arguing. And please leave my guests alone, Geron. I'm sorry, Hilda, but this is an important matter. I know. I was there. What? I'm the one you're looking for. I saw it all. I was drunk and Geron. I didn't know what they were up to. I thought they were just fooling around. Tell me what happened. Wolfram said the Tulamedes are in league with the demons and merely disguised as simple merchants. Supposedly. They're trying to smuggle a dark artifact into the country. He said they want to use it to overthrow King Ephedon and turn all women into love slaves. First, Hartman was supposed to sneak into the tent and steal the artifact and then signal to us with his lantern. That was supposed to be the sign to attack. But it didn't get that far, did it? I don't know. It's all so hazy. Try to remember. You should start from Yo, the beginning. Hello. I'll try. I remember. It had just stopped raining when we finally reached the clearing. Demon. Oh, Garon, it was so horrible. There were horns growing out of his body all over, and he had a long, glowing staff on his back. Just like the princess. Promise me things will soon be the way they used to be. Don't worry. I'll take care of it myself. Will you now? Um... Come outside with me, will you? So it's the same as the thief who stole the glass, glass. thing. 
If the school the scaring us stuff. Is, they'll take the case away from me in an instant. Hmm. What shall I do with you? You could let me go. We're well beyond that point. Do you also believe it was a demon? Or why am I asking you? You probably believe everything you're told. <laughs> A demon in Andergas? That's quite unheard of. It would certainly stir things up around here. That it would, indeed. All right, it's decided. What? Here's charcoal and parchment. Have Hilda draw you a picture of the attacker. We have to know exactly what we're dealing with here. We? Then find out what the beast wants. Maybe there's something we can use as bait. As bait? Right. And third, I need an astral accumulator. Well, my own astral energy probably won't be sufficient. Sufficient? For what? We need to be well prepared if we're going to set up a trap. Do I have to do everything by myself? So looks like we got a quest now. Got three things to take care of. You want to catch a full-grown demon? You're just a lowly novice. Huh. I can beat the other novices with one hand tied behind my back. And yes, I want to catch it. And banish it. Of course it's risky. I'm not going to miss out on the adventure of my life by being careful. All that's missing is the drawing of the demon, bait, and the astral accumulator. And then we can get started. I thought you didn't want me to get into danger. Oh, I just wanted to get rid of you. I thought you were just a curious lumberjack. Now I know you're one of those would-be heroes, and I have sympathy for would-be heroes. I would also rather leap fully unprepared into a dark dragon's cave and risk my life and spend my day shearing sheep. Besides, time is short and I need help. You could have had the whole school of magic behind you. As soon as they find out that I'm hunting a demon, they'll pull me right off the case and let the masters do it. And I'd hate to let them have all the fun. What a charming person. So she actually does not know I already am, already am a hero. The hero of Andergas. So why would I help you? Why should I help you? I don't know. You were sneaking around the scene of the crime, questioning witnesses. You'll achieve your goal faster if you help me. Besides, you're old enough to know what you're doing. Am I? Really? Well, count me in. I don't know what I should think of this woman. But if I don't play along, she might find Fahi before me. So, you need a drawing of the entity, bait to lure it, and, uh... An astral accumulator. Here, I wrote it down for you. And you'll need this as well. A ring with a lens? That's another artifact from Alric's collection. It's called a hare's eye, an invention of the Master de Hoto. If you look through it, you can see traces of magic in the environment. Try it. Oh, this is interesting. Got a new power. Let's try it out. Interesting, magical. That's the thief. Did you see anything? These glass shards. Did they glow? Yes. That means someone cast magic on them. Maybe even our friend. Keep following the trail. Maybe there'll be a hint of what he's looking for. I can keep the hare's eye? Why not? The spell only lasts three days anyway. After that, the lens is worthless. And what if I follow the trail and run right into the beast's arms? Then you scream. Good luck. <laughs> you can find me in the clearing. You can find me in the clearing. All right. Who have I come across now? By the way, my name's Bryder. I'm Giron. Good hunting, Giron. On a rather unusual sort of hunt. Mm, all right. Let's try to go back to the taproom first. I want to try the lens. Or if there are traces of magic on the barrel. Hilda has complained so many times that her magic has no effect on me. But she hasn't even got any. Okay. So let's see. Oh yeah, right. I have to ask Hilda to draw the demon. I forgot. What I have here? Heap of shards. Let's try. Doesn't work. Some parts are still missing. Okay, never mind. Is that all now? Let's set a trap for the demon. Bryder needs me to get her the following an exact an accumulator and all right. Let's ask Hilda to draw the demon can for you us. Draw me a picture of the attacker. I can try. That's him. That's what he looked like. That is, is fairly that magic staff on his back. Fairly Thanks, vague. Hilda. You've been a big help. 
I just hope they catch that monster as soon as possible. I won't be able to get a moment's sleep until then. Don't worry, I'm already working on it. Thank the gods. Hilda drew the contours of the attacker for me. I wonder how to get another eyewitness report. Hmm. Let's After ask my these guys. I better... oh, okay, never mind. Um... Oh, yeah, I have to ask the, the merchant. Nice to see you again. What was stolen? A jewelry box made. The junk wasn't. Then what? D -d -d it was. Weren't you going? No thanks. Such. Does this tell you anything? It could be the remains of the box that was taken from me last night. Or merely a bunch of colored shards. I don't know. Was this the thief? Hmm. He carried a staff exactly like that on his back. All right. Nice to cool. See. I you going to buy no thanks such a I have nothing more to ask let's follow the trail we're going into the well or something that that would be nori I guess the tracks lead up to my window or not let's go inside this is creepy What's that? More broken glass? Somebody was here last night. Someone who by the light of the lantern picked something apart piece by piece and watched us sleeping at the same time. Holy What's shit. <laughs> this is creepy. This is very, very creepy. Uh, can I repair this now? Purple shards and... The whole thing was an ugly glass box. There's a gap in the lid, as if one single piece was still missing. There's a hole in the shell. I wonder if anyone... I don't know. Alright. Uh, broken artifact known. Shouldn't be anything to do here. I probably can ask the, um, the merchant about the glass box. Does this tell you anything? By fix, that's it. That's the glass box that was stolen. Where did you find it? In the road. Someone <laughs> picked it apart, shard by shard. Yes, and kept only the rubies. There are rubies missing? Yes, the hole in the lid held a glass ruby. Someone's going around stealing rubies? Yes, supposedly several have disappeared between here and the Midden Realm in recent weeks. I should tell Brider about that. May I have the box back now? Oh, it, it just broke in my hands. Oh, keep it. This is all pointless anyway. So I broke the box. Ah, this is not what I wanted to do. I can see a faint glow above the School of Magic, but the mages are responsible for that. Just watching. So it looks like the stream is lagging. I'm gonna try and pause and start again, I guess. I can save here. Let's see, save. I will be right back. Back. I hope I fixed the lag issue or the stuttering or whatever was the problem. So can I the whole thing was an ugly get it back, yeah. So there is one guy who was going around um, stealing rubies apparently. The school courtyard is quiet. The students are probably out on maneuvers in the woods. It's going to the courtyard. Hey there, bird catcher. The school of arcane combat is only for mages and novices. What are you doing here? Master Bodiak asked me to come. He has an artifact I'm supposed to tell him more about. All right. His room is on the second floor right next to the staircase. Master Oakwood's old room. How do you know that? Long story. I'll be going. And don't stray. If I see you anywhere other than in the master's room, you'll be out of here on your ear. All right, let's see if the no he's I just think... waiting for a chance. Yeah, doesn't work. I know we didn't always see eye to eye, but please protect Nuri and restore her old existence soon. We deserve it. Can I get like a coal or something? I don't need any coals. All right, you don't need it. Sorry. 
latrines. I've got my own chamber pot for the. Okay, let's go in. Magister's chamber. Uh, going to the dormitory. Let's go into the chamber. Yes. Ah, oh, here he is. What do you want? It's about the mask. What about it? I want my artifact back. Your artifact? According to Bride's report, you just stumbled upon the mask. Where did you take it? It's my responsibility to keep the unconcerned far from any magical developments. That applies especially to hotheads who consider themselves to be budding magicians. What's so important about the mask? Is it dangerous? Only for someone who has a command of ancient Tullamedia. The rest is of no concern to you. If you don't intend to tell me anything more about the mask... We may as well change the subject, yes. You're suddenly so cheerful. <laughs> Can't an old man be happy once in a while? I just mean with the petrified people and the rumours about a demon... All nonsense. Soon everything will be just as before. You seem to be very sure of that. That I am, my boy. That I am. Have you Status. found out what happened last night? Why would that interest a bird catcher? Um, people are afraid. Ah, those pig farmers are scared of everything. That's why it's important to resolve this case as quickly as possible. We can't have the rabble taking matters into their own hands. And we saw last night what can happen to a mindless mob. I'll be leaving then. It's about time. All right, let's explore the dormitory. Hopefully I don't get caught. Oh, there's also a library. Interesting. Strange artifact, a chest. Oh, all these chests. Interesting. Let's see if I can go s stealing shit. Huh? Who are you? Get out of here! Right, I got caught. So looks like I have to get in there without getting caught. Give me a second, I will try to fix the streaming issues. Just one second, maybe in the stream settings I can fix encoding maybe. Just one second. Let's try this. Alright, I think I changed it. I hope it works fine now. And it doesn't stutter or uh, fail the connection anymore. Alright, we got into the library. Um, is there anything interesting around here? So there's one guy over there. Hello? Oh. Hello, my friend. You don't look like you belong here. Can I help you with something? Who are you? <laughs> Me? I'm studying here. Magic, combat, bit less magic, lot more combat. Anybody who dreamed of magic as a child soon loses those illusions here. Unless they come to me. What does that mean? I'm putting the magic back into magic. And how are you doing that, you ask? Well, that all depends on the needs of my customers. What are you doing here? I'm in bed with a cold, while the others are running around in the forest playing war. It looks more like you're kneading little lumps of honey. Correct. But except for you and me, nobody knows that. So what are you really what doing? What are you really doing? Why the honey? By a rather circuitous route, I came across a spell from Poonin. It cost me a few small favors, but it was worth it. 
Do you see these honey coins are pressed? Watch. Harden what's soft and stem the flow. The honey is now as hard as stone, but unfortunately it's still too translucent to pass as real gold. But with the right mixture, it could work. You can harden liquids? I'd rather call it upgrade. My honey to gold experiment is only the beginning. I'm open to further suggestions at any time. I want to learn this spell. What can you tell me about Bryder? Oh. Bryda is brilliant. The masters are all crazy about her. She's definitely one of the good ones. She believes even more in the magic within things than I do. All those piffling spells these days must bore her to tears. I'm looking for an astral accumulator. Hmm. You know more than one might think from looking at you. A genuine astral accumulator is very rare and valuable. A novice with rich parents hired me to steal old Owlies so he could cheat in the examination. Owly? Master Alric. It's an open secret that he's obsessed with rare artifacts. The artifact hunters in the Hisinda temple had better not find out though. Who knows? Maybe one day that knowledge will help me pass my own examination. Where do I find the accumulator? In the dormitory. All right, looks like it's that weird artifact which I have to sneak around to steal, apparently. Let's see, it's brittle floorboards. Can I, like, repair it or something? Hmm. Nothing happened. The wood is too far gone already. Fair enough. Let's see. Go from here. Uh, rotten floorboards, nope. Hmm, nothing happened. The wood is too far gone already. Hmm, shards. Can I fix the shards? Oh, and if I break it, he's gonna turn around or something. Or I can go from here, actually. Fair enough. How is this guy so oblivious he doesn't realize I just stole an artifact from his bedside? What the hell? There we go. So I wonder if this was the artifact I needed. I'm gonna ask this guy here. I've got the Astral Accumulator. <laughs> no, you don't. That's Flea Helm, stupid talisman. Absolutely okay. worthless. Got the wrong one. If you want the real Astral Accumulator, you'll have to keep an eye out for something magical. Oh, I have to use the lens in the dormitory. Okay, so this chest. Why do you step there? Why do you out. go on your own? What the hell? I re uh, come on. I don't see anything special. I'll leave all that. There's a glow around the lamp. This could be the astral accumulator Bride is looking for. Alright, I got the astral accumulator. Let's go ask this uh. guy here if he knows something. Just to confirm I got the right one this time. Is this what an astral accumulator looks like? If you disguise it as a lantern like Owly did, then yes. Is that the astro? Which of you?
I guess I have to ask oh, Bryder. Yes. You again. I'll oh, be it's about Never mind. Academy of Magic, let's go to Bryda in the clearing. You're gonna save here just to be sure nothing goes wrong. Stone pillars here. Let's see if there's something useful in the back. Hmm, nothing but junk in there. Hmm? This is the shell the man pressed against the pillars before. I'll take it with me. Bingo. Can I break it? Nothing happened. That exceeds my... <clears throat> oh, now it has a... Oh, I can break it. Oh, now it has a... Is that the astro... So she's doing some weird ritual with a pentagram. Right, let's ask Bryda. That's all Hilda saw. There's nothing to be seen. Try to find another witness. But except for Hilda, there wasn't anybody in the clearing. Look around. Maybe we missed something. The trail led me to this box. Then that isn't what it was looking for, or else they wouldn't have been left behind, right? What is that hole in the lid? There seems to be something missing. Is this what you're looking for? Odum Arcanum. Yes, yes, that's it. Good work. All right, at least you got one out of three things. Here. What's that? The astral accumulator. <laughs> Odum Arcanum. Geron, that thing isn't even magic. I'm afraid you've fallen for a red herring. Well, great. Baited. This is what happens when you get baited. That achievement, at least. What? He's got nothing interesting in his head. He didn't even get a good look at his attacker before he ran away screaming. What a coward. Correct. Nothing. This one hasn't seen. I'd better stay away from that. I'm not going to. Oh, there's a ring. Oh, sorry, never mind. It's a rug. I read ring. My bad. So I, I want to use the shell on that thing. No. What? On the fifth or actually fourth pillar. Oh, I've got something. By the gods, what was that? I'll sketch it right away. It won't get any more detail than this. Ooh, doesn't have any eyes. Thanks, Garon. That should suffice. So what? What am I missing now? To set a trap for the demon, Bryda needs me to get her the following things: an exact description of the entity, preferably from Got multiple this one. sources, an accumulator for astral energy from the school, Got this and one. something for bait. Whatever the entity appears to be seeking in under. Right. So we're looking for rubies. He was looking for rubies. Right, so I can try buy a ruby from from this merchant. Nice to see. You. Have any more rubies vanished? Not for me, to be honest. Those were the only gems I had. Weren't you going to buy? No, thank you. Such a.
See you. Nothing here. What can I do? F can you remember? A no, I'll remember. See you later. Don't keep. So I have to find a ruby. Maybe in the academy there is something. These are just copies of books that I. It's me. May the gods. I'm looking for. Mm, you know more than one might. A genuine ass. A novel. Owly? Master. Who no. Where in the door? Where do I find somewhere? Stupid. You got an. I wonder. This sounds like a bug. I had the same option twice. Looks like maybe I can find something like the red wine. If I give him the red wine, he might harden it for me. I found this. Show me. Oh ho. May I keep it? What's so special about that vegetable? <laughs> Let's just say it doesn't just fill you up. You may ask for any service you want in return. I'll think of something. Great. It's me again. May the you can ha my honey to gold. Ex I'm open to. F so I I need to harden the red wine to turn it into a fake ruby, so I can lure lure the monster, the demon. So now what I need is. Uh, no oh, wait. Please. This. The wine now. Uh, glass box. The gap in the lid is now. Great. I can fix the barrel because I'm a good guy, and now I can bring it to the other magician so he can harden it to get a ruby out of it. A fake ruby. Harden what's soft and stem the flow. One freshly forged ruby for my new best friend. Whatever you're planning to do with it, I suggest you hurry. The effect won't last long. Cool. You're only telling me that now? Nice doing business with you. Got a it fake looks ruby. deceptively real. So now I can bring it to the apprentice rider. And here we go boys. We finished all the three tasks. I hope at least. If nothing else comes up by. Since everything points to our attacker liking rubies here. Yeah. <laughs> I know where that came from. The theory with the ruby is a bit far-fetched, but I can't think of anything better myself. You need to stand further away. I'm preparing the magic circle now. How much farther is it? What? What is it? I thought you said something. Hmm? No. Unfortunately, I can only create the basic conditions. I'll only know the right spell when I see the beast. I'm amazed the mob didn't run away from the tent. The attacker probably came out of the woods. To Draconia, how much further is it? This time I heard it too. I'm so tired all of a sudden. Well, this is definitely oh, the God, creepy. On the tree. It was here the whole time. What do you want? I'm hungry. I need to eat. If I stop before the mask gets to Draconia, you won't see a single shilling. Oh yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm a child of the city. 
I don't know my way around here. It's Back still many to the princess. To I like this. We've only just begun to climb the mountain. I have to eat. Give me silver. Silver? The silver platter from the burial chamber. Give it to me. Princess, he seems to be offering you a trade. Do you really want to do that? Okay, so now we are back into the story uh, of the princess and the staff. Hmm. Let's gather our bearings. You got a ruby. Oh, maybe this is what she was looking for. Interesting. This is a ruby she was looking for. Bandage. So the demon is most definitely her. Alcohol, mask, the staff, the dagger, and the shiny silver platter. And we got the activate and deactivate spell. We got some wooden logs here. A safsha. You what, mate? I suppose the deal is off. I don't have to rely on him. I can catch something myself. How come you're suddenly talking again? You've been mute since we left the caves. I was afraid. Afraid? Yes. I was stuck in a dark but safe hole for thousands of years. I don't know who I am, where I come from, where I'm going, and how this is all going to end. In addition, I'm bound to a grim woman who carries what is probably a demonic staff on her back. Of course I'm afraid! <laughs> Don't laugh! Whenever I think I've figured you out, you laugh like a perfectly normal woman again! Even the growling of your stomach is that of a plain mortal. It's high time I ate something. What? Your guide has you in the palm of his hand. He knows you'd be lost in this wilderness without him. Just wait and see. I saw an animal's burrow behind the tree. I'll catch whatever lives there and eat it. <laughs> Get some rope. Get some pelt. It's a perfect setup for a trap. How am I supposed to reach Draconia without food? Are you listening to me? Part of our agreement is that you keep me alive. Pointless. He's ignoring me. If I want something to eat, I'll have to hunt for it myself. Can I give him the silver platter? I've reconsidered. I guess he doesn't want it any. Alright, never mind then. Go up the hill, dandelions here. I don't even know. Let Rahwan tie it up again. May stick. So I definitely want to tie the stick. I don't much care for rope. random guesswork. I don't even. Oh no. Come on out, little beast. I need to eat you. You have a way with words, Sharizan. I only lie when I have to. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Let's see. I can't lose my head now. I need something to fall on the prey. Flat stone here. It's too heavy, but why would I want to lift it anyway? It's too but why It's too why All right, I got this. It's too but why That won't do as bait. An animal has cl First First I need it to coax it out, okay? First I need I'm not fin All right. Um what am I missing here? I mustn't lose sight of my mm -mm -mm. I made them. This was So I got wooden stakes. That won't do it. Hmm. She does say something different at least. Now that's just First I should put the pelt there isn't enough room. Oh, I can make a hole. I mean, the hole in the ground and, and then have the, the rabbit fall into it. Better not. Some I bandage. can easily tear the... 
That won't get. This is the part where the guesswork starts. Let's see. So, I want to lure, 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 whatever, the prey out of the hole and bring it over here, move the flat stone over and have it fall into it or something. I don't see any. Better not. A total. But why? God damn it, woman. I must. This doesn't make any sense. It took the bait. All right. Maybe I can lure it out. Little by little. Come on, come farther out. There are plenty of. Yes, come closer. I've almost got you. Hmm. Rats, it's too far. Okay, this is interesting. What shall I... F what shall I... F Hmm. Stretching the rope around the stakes won't do any... What shall I... <laughs> okay, this is a classic trap. I've already got a hand. That's no long... What do you mean? Oh, because the rabbit is down here. Okay. Get fucking wrecked, mate. Oh shit. You gotcha. He's smarter than you. Okay, what can I do? I'd rather not. <laughs> I guess I can. I, can't I can't use, use alcohol here. Um, what is the point? Why would I think I am missing a piece of the puzzle here? He led me out of fuzz without provision. I won't surrender myself. <laughs> How can I make? He's just going back there. This is not going to work. I'm not finished. Alright, they can go up there. Is there anything I'm missing? No bushes. I hear dandelions. Stakes. Maybe I can move the stakes out. Put them in, the pelt is now f in another direction. I can't get the last stake out. Show me your dagger. Now he wants my dagger, too. I'll save my strength.
Hmm. This is interesting. Being a bit lost here, uh, I can probably show the dagger to this guy here. Let's save. I don't. I don't want to ruin this. You know, there there are not many games where you end up uh, with, a, with a, an unsolvable puzzle. All but right. I don't want here. to be. I don't want this to be this that kind of game. That's all. What do I get for it? Later. Hmm. I thought so. Are you shitting me? Now I lost my dagger. How am I supposed? Are you listening? Pointless. If I want. So this is probably a trigger. That won't lead. To Useless as what did you? Oh, nothing. Now that's just no. What am I missing here? I've Holy already got shit. There would be enough room here for a trap, but I think I'll do it some other way. So I set up the trap until I know exactly. Go back here, the rabbit is gonna come out. Mm -mm -mm. This is really frustrating. Hmm. You should I can't lose try. No, that'll never. That won't lead to. Mm -hmm. That'll never. If a woman could live on, then I would never. Oh, I can do something with the rope, maybe. Okay, I got the rope. Now that's just Come on. I don't want to spend the entire streaming session stuck on this shitty puzzle. Up the hill, nope. Takes fast and pelt rope. No. I can't lose this is frustrating. Flatstone. This flatstone. Mm, it has to do That's something. No. It can't be just here for no reason. It's too. Why would. Stupid rabbit. It has to do with taking out the stakes from the pelt and maybe turning it around or something. Can I put these back into the fireplace? I guess so. The stakes left some holes. The last. St there is something I'm missing here. I can't lose. 
if I pull on this rope here, the trap falls on the rabbit, and the rabbit then fall, um, runs away. Right. I don't see any connect. Yeah, me neither. One thing at a time. So I put it. I'll okay. take the rope. So I can take the stick back. The last. And. Nope. This fucking flat stone here has to do something. It's too. Why would. Actually, does it. Does the rabbit do anything if I walk away? Yeah, it comes out to eat. Very good. Now it's far enough from its burrow to catch. Hmm, interesting. What? Oh, I can tie the rope to the pelt. Holy shit. Like, really? Very good. The rabbit is standing on the trap. What? I don't much. Okay. Wow. This was way too stupid. And yet it worked. GG. You got a rabbit. Took me way longer than it should have. I actually got impressive. Ticked Poor off. And now, can't just eat it raw. Because of the double yeah, uh, take these stones. puzzle oh, thing. Who doesn't need stones? No, these are special stones for fire. He seems to be holding something in his hand. So the thing is, I got tricked because I did not expect the the stakes to have two purposes. First, you had to to um, fix down the pelt, and this caught the holes. And I didn't think about putting actually the rope inside the holes to trap the rabbit. So you had to use something, then take it out of the thing and use something else. This is quite a, a smart design of a puzzle. But as somebody who is not used to these kinds of puzzles, it took me way longer than it should have. Uh, right. Let's take the flints. These are flints. Thank you. And now the staff. What? Stones for the staff. That's the price. Yeah, you're shitting me. Can I give him the staff? Save again. I don't want to ruin this any further. Oops. But you can't. You didn't trust me anyway. Yes, but... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And now it's time I finally lit a fire. Like, are you shitting me? I, I, I literally gave him the staff and the knife dagger. Thank you for the stones, but don't expect me to share. Yeah, this didn't work out, I guess. She got absolutely wrecked. I have failed. I might as well just lie here and die. Oh. No. He took everything. He only left the flints and the mask. I'll hunt that bastard down. I'll catch him and I'll gut him like a rat. No one flouts me and gets away with it. I got the flints and the mask. Somehow... Oh wow! We got it to chapter 3. Somehow I was hoping like there was a different way to solve this puzzle. Maybe there was. I won't reload and go back and try. Where did he go? Are those animal tracks? Or was it Rachvan? If I follow the wrong trail, I may never find my way back. Hmm. Perhaps with these berries. So I came from here. 
This way I can't possibly get lost. Yeah, I'm actually very, very doubtful this is going to work, but... Right, that bear is on this path. Always go to the right. Every time. Or not, I get, I guess. Oh, I can also get the blue berries. Interesting. I will get the blue ones. I wonder if I go back here, I... Will I get the berries again? Yeah. Yes, so let, let's get through the whole forest. One thing at a time. I guess I could use like a code for red berries is is where I came from and blueberry is where I go or something but if I keep going right I, I won't have this problem always go right once and count how many times I get into a place with the blueberries so this is okay so I got to a dead end. I'll never make it up there without. All right, there's nothing. I wonder where. Here, let's get back here. I don't care about this place. So I, this place, I've already been here. So I can put red berries here and say, always go right where you find a red berry. This can work. So I've already been here, Evan. Haven't I? No, I guess not. Let's put a red berry here and go right again. Fox track. Fax be with you. Alright. It looks like I followed the wrong tracks or something. Got an achievement at least out of it. Right, have I been here before? I, I don't wonder where I don't see any red berries here, so berries on the trail and go right again. This is how you brute force a maze. Red berries again here on the path. Go right again. Eventually we are going to go somewhere, I hope. Red berries on the path, and let's go right again. This is how you get fucking lost. Okay, so I've been here before, I'm pretty sure, because I have blueberries over there. Red berries here, this is a place I started at, isn't it? Or not? It isn't. Okay, so this is the beginning. Great! Got red berries here. Uh, been there, been there, let's go there. Eventually, something will work. Red berries here. Unless I get into a loop, but I should figure this out uh, pretty quickly, I think. Let's berries here. Let's go right. Okay, so I've been here. And I went there. So now I can say blueberries here. And let's go back. Red berries here. And let's go right again. Deer. Is this another achievement? Red berries here. Great. I hope I can. It's afraid. I wanted another achievement. Come on. Let's go this way and see what I get here. Alright. Put red berries here. 
skip the maze. No, I'm not gonna skip the maze, come on. I'm just having fun here. Well, it's nice they give you the option when they notice you're too much of a scrub to get the maze right. Uh, I'd rather no. Red berries here, and let's go right again. Red berries here. Come on. Why can't I put the red berries here? Well, this is a dead end anyway, so I don't care. Put some blueberries here. And let's go here. Red berries here and go right again. It's getting a bit old, but I, I actually want to know if this is going to work or not. I'm very curious about. I've been here before and I've been there, so I can put the blueberries here and go back. So, where am I? Okay, red berries here and go right. Because I've been here, I've been here, I've been here, so I can put the blueberries here. This is completed. Uh, I can put... Come on. There you go. And go back. Put red berries here. And let's go here. Okay, this is interesting. I've been here. And I've been there as well, so actually I need to put blueberries here. So this is a part where I get lost, right? I have to backtrack to the first place where I came from, which is this one here. I take the blue the red berries. This is a the recursive part of the algorithm. The blueberries here, go back here. Okay, this is tricky because I came from there. So I can put the Blueberries here. Take the red berries here. Put the blue ones here because it mean it means I finished this whole loop. Go back to one. Again here. Put the blueberries here. I have already done this one, so I can take the red berries here. Put the blue ones down. Go back. It's a place with the deer again, so I can put the blueberries here. Can I actually capture the deer somehow? It's a. F oh, never mind. It's. I don't think it's important. Okay, so I finished this whole loop here. Take the red berries here. Trade them with blue ones. I think the moment I stumble into a whole loop of blueberries, I'm going to rage quit out of this. Right, so I know where we are. Blueberries here. Take the red one. Blueberries here. We're almost at the top of the stack of layers. Yep, exactly. This is perfect. It means I have to go over there. Which is the one I'm missing. Let's put blueberries all over here. go over there. Now I have the second layer around here which is fine. Uh, red berries, put the blue ones here, put the red berries, no actually no, 
it's too dangerous. I have to go back from here. I don't think there are any inner loops in this. Or actually, yes. So I put red berries here. And go here. I've been here, I've been here, so I can put blueberries here. And go back. Red one here. And go here. Should be very close. Should be maybe two or three more and it should be done. I think. See, these are the tracks. This is going to be the way. I tell you, trust me. Ah, fuck, I've been here before. Shit. So I put the blueberries here. This one is already visited. So it's not it. Put the red berries. Ha, huh, I've been here as well. Yeah, I should probably put blueberries all over here now. But why aren't there red berries here? I guess I just forgot to put them. I'm fairly sure I, I came from here. This time at least. Let's go over here. Why? Oh, I've been here before. Fuck. Did I just get lost? Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Do you think I should be going this way? Okay, I got an achievement for doing something which I don't understand. I think I, I, I got completely lost because I missed one step. But my, my intuition tells me where I have to go. This is all I need. So it's this way. This way. This way. This is a view, right? No. What? I think I'm completely lost. Well, this didn't work out as well as I hoped it would work. So I'm very close to actually deciding to skip the maze thing, but I won't complete it. I really do. I wonder where. I'm fairly sure I have to go this, this way. So I'm pretty confident because I, I, I should have completed all the other loops. Oh, no. This way. Hmm, interesting. No, oh, actually, fuck, blueberries here. I thought I, I was done here. This place is interesting because I've been there, but I haven't been here actually. Fucking knew it! Oh yes! Woo! That's oh, dagger. I was right. He was here. First he ate my rabbit, and then. And then he threw my dagger into the tree. He seems to be mocking me. Nothing left for me. 
the bastard gnawed all the bones clean. He threw it just... I don't much... Mm -mm -mm. I, I would like to get the... I wonder where... Dagger back. Oh shit, so the labyrinth isn't over. Fuck. Right, so we got a new starting point. There's a path over there. Let's well, let's go always right. This is a broken bush. Path, path. Well, here we go again. I thought I was out of that hell hole, but apparently I'm not. This is a dead end. Let's go back here. Red berries. This actually reminds me of when I played, uh, what was it called, uh, Return to Dork, it's an old adventure game, I think it was the first graphical adventure from Dork, Ooh, interesting, monolith, where I was with a friend and there is a part with a maze, a labyrinth thing, and I started doing pretty much this, so I, I could probably use this to get the dagger. Anyway, I started doing random guesswork in the labyrinth for... I think it was... Uh, interesting. Right, there's not much I can do here. So, uh, I was doing random guesswork for at least up to 20 minutes. Try to get out of the maze. I mean, trying to find something interesting in the maze itself. And the problem is that we got lost, we didn't know where we were, and we didn't have any previous save. Well, back then the games were much, much more, or rather less, unforgiving. So, uh, you could actually fail, actually, we did fail. Okay, I, I can't get through, I'd get stuck. I need... I need the dagger to get out of here, okay? Anyway, the games back then were very unforgiving, and if you failed, you actually failed and you had to restart. So we didn't have any save games, because we were... I guess silly, we didn't think about it, we got into the maze and uh, and we got lost, so we sat down and we actually started drawing the maze map one step after each other. We drew the whole map and by I think it was 40 minutes we managed to get the whole maze mapped out and we actually found a lot of cool places in the maze which weren't... where am I? Okay. Which weren't even necessary for the game itself, but it was pretty cool. And I think my friend still has the map on a, on his notebook. And don't tell this, what? Well, don't tell this to my algorithm professor. But we did it during his lecture on the laptop, so that was fun. Let's go back here. That was fun, and that that was. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't even so long ago, it was like 5-6 years ago. And and that's how you were supposed to play these old games. Old computer games. But I, I, this game is not the same, I mean, you have, you have the option to skip the maze, which... It's a bit too easy, I think. Come on, place these fucking berries. I'll probably skip the maze if I fail, but I, I I don't feel like I mean there are actual puzzles in here to be done like the rope and the dagger, so I want to get through it. Okay, so I came here. This is interesting. I, I can put a blueberry here and get back there. I mean I already found what I needed to find, which is the the rope. Just 
clearing out this place for completion's sake. And so I can squeeze a bit more time out of this. Actually, no, I would rather not, but I want to get through it. So why did, why did I miss one? Because I already came from back then. Alright, uh, red berry here. No, actually, I need to put a blueberry here. Uh, I know where we are now. I just need to go here. Need to go here. Wait, fuck. Wrong turn. Need to go here. And now we should be close to the dagger itself. Uh, here. In there. Right, I haven't been here and there yet. But I can probably guess. We do something like this. Bingo! So, I have choices now. I can either go back to the bushes, the thorn bushes, and break them with my dagger. Better not. Or I can visit the rest of the labyrinth. I'm gonna visit the rest of the labyrinth for your happiness. Hmm. I will probably put um, an annotation on the YouTube video so you can skip the boring labyrinth parts. Right, there's nothing more I can do here. Alright, fair enough. At least the music, the background music, it's quite mellow and soothing, so it's not bad. Oh, a wild boar. You almost scared me, buddy. I should save my strength. Stare at me. You're no smarter than me. It's got enough Right, it's not running away, so cool. You see, see, guys, if I had skipped maids, I would have, I would have never met the wild boar. I gave you a nice view here, just letting you bask in the artwork of this game, which is fairly impressive. I think I, I really like the scenery here. I've said it before, and I will say it again. I this art style is probably one of my favorite for uh, adventure games, for 2D adventure games. The character models. They look like they are traced 3D models or something, or animated models. And it's fine. Track stops there. What? It looks like. Right, this is a dead end. Cool. I can't already guess where I need to go anyway. Taking my time to map the rest of the labyrinth and effectively get lost. Actually, no, I need to put a blue one here. I've already been here. I should probably do different color coding scheme, like have a. Because so far I'm using the red, red berries to mark where I came from, and the blueberries e every time I f find a complete loop. But I could probably use like blue red berries to mark where I came from, and blueberries to mark where I am going. But I'm always going to the right of the red berries, so I've been here because I came from here, I've been there because I, I go to the right of the first one, so this one can already skip two loops and go up there. So I've already been here, I've already been there, because I go to the right, so now I can put blueberries here and go back. That means I finished the loop. Which incidentally means I can put blueberries here 
and go back by one. I should probably replace all the all the berries to blueberries in this loop, but it's fine. So it means I've only been here, completed this loop, and now I can go for the last step here. Which means I've already been here, and this is great, because it means I completed my loop. Go back here, I came from here. I think at least. Oh no, I didn't come from here. I came from here. And now I'm lost. Great. So I've been like 20 minutes exploring this place. It's a dead end. Bad choice. So let's go this way. This is a boar place. That's good. Means I completed this sub loop here, and I can go back here. Means I completed this one, and I can go back here. This was a dead end, which is great. It cuts off parts of my mapping. And I completed this loop as well. So I can go back here. Now I should be close to the dagger place, actually. Like very close. Probably this one or the next one. Yep, this one. It's great. It means I completely mapped out this area. And let's try the last one here. Maybe you can fi I can find something else that sparks my interest. Go right, first one. Let's see if there's anything interesting. No. Go right. Uh, almost done, guys, I promise. This is a dead end. Great. Great, great, great. I like to think that at one point the guy is mapping. Oh. Holy shit. Uh, I want to save here. I, I don't feel safe at all. I like to think that at some point the guy is mapping the labyrinth said, yeah, okay, fuck it. If this guy is going to map 100% of the labyrinth, we're just going to put a couple of dead ends at the last few areas just because uh, we are out of ideas. So. Good thing they already ate. Can I, like, attack these guys? I wouldn't survive for long. I bet. Yeah, I bet, I bet so. Right, so. Uh, um, Those are quorum beasts. I've quorum never encountered beasts. them in the wild. Let's keep it this way. Alright, so now all I need to do is find back the place. Oh shit, I fell for it. I have to find the. the uh, thorny bushes place. Which I reached by going right every time. Might take a while, but eventually got there. This is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah. Almost there, guys, I promise. Just a couple more steps. And we got it. There we go. This should be the end of the labyrinth. At least for what I hope. At last. At last, my staff. Great. I'm not going one step closer. Not before I'm sure that there's nothing lurking behind this web. Uh. I need something more. Hmm. That won't suff- I will not, not with- mm -hmm. This is still part of the maze. Holy shit. Uh, 
Okay. I don't even. I don't think a big spider like. Tell me, I missed. Oh, shrubs. Yeah, I'm gonna probably. That won't suffice. To make a fire, I need to somehow bundle the. Ah, uh, rope, rope. All right, cool. And now I. For a second, I feared I had to go back into the labyrinth and labyrinth. Now the staff, quick. Look at the spider. That's a huge, big so nope. So that he can strangle you. There's no time for that. Which way did he go? No, better find a way to put the mask on him. Good. It's not following us. We're safe. How could you give me away? Just like that. You were afraid of me. I thought I was doing you a favor. Well, yes, but no, not, not like that. It would help if you took better care of me. Then stop doubting me and start trusting me. I'll only trust you when you tell me what you're planning to do with me. Nothing. I'm not planning to do anything with you. It's entirely up to you whether you help me or not. I don't believe you. I'm going into battle, a war for which no one can predict the outcome. I'm following a path that cannot be planned. I take what I can get, and like a rope artist, I weave a safety net from it. I'll only know that when the time comes. All I can do is fall. Why do I have the feeling this can't possibly end well? Trust me, I've taken more precautions than you know. Look at the level up, nice. But this is still the sound, the crackling sound of the torch behind me, what the hell? Uh, I guess I can go forward, and I hope the sound ends soon. Please, yes. Oh, a campfire. What happened here? Looks like a battle took place. Dead horse. I can smell something besides blood. Don't tell me that coward poisoned his dagger. My only weapon. Flies have already infested the wound. I'm not touching that meat. Campfire oh, destroyed. Finally, tent. a little warmth. There are still a few pelts lying in the tent. They left everything behind in a hurry. Why don't you pick them up? Then there must be. Let's check the arrow. It's stuck too deep in the tree, but without a bow, it's useless to me anyway. I guess I can only follow along the path and keep going. I should be close now. Mm, this is not nice, I guess. I'm gonna get lost again, and I and I have like no clues of where I'm going. I just go to the right, Morg. Just go to the right, and everything's gonna be fine. Right again. Like this is not useful. I've already gone through the labyrinth once. Okay. Hit a checkpoint. Look at this artwork, Finally, it's so pretty. the first stage of the journey is finished. But I'll never make it up there without a guide. I thought you were prepared, mistress. Hmm, there are people by the waterfall, and at least one of them looks awfully familiar. Let's see what I can do here. The first leg of the journey is over. For the second, I need someone who knows his way around here. And unfortunately, I only know one such person. Such person. Right, let's go down to the waterfall, I guess. Ah, Byrondra. I think his blade was poisoned. If only you had used a sword and not that... Cursive bow. Stay calm. If you get upset, 
The poison will spread through your veins even faster. Are you sure no one followed us? When a Fekina jumps out of the bushes, the rest of the tribe can't be far behind. Don't worry. He has no hair. He's an outcast. Dishonored. A coward who poisons his enemies. I'll make him pay for this. Those are Rondra Amazons. I heard their fortress was west of here. But what are they doing so far out this way? Don't worry about it and get out of here! No. I need that bastard. Only he knows the way to Draconia. <sighs> May the gods be with you. I see you've captured a Fakina. Who are you? Why are you threatening me? What have I done to you? You really do look harmless. You are a Telamede, but not a Fakina. You come from one of the great cities in the east. But what brings you so far into the Rashtulian Wall, all alone? You're easy prey for the countless Fakina tribes in these heights. Right, should I tell the truth or change the subject? Let's change the subject. I don't want What brings you so far from your homeland? To give out you so much from info. Rondra, right? We're on a mission to do great honor to our goddess Rondra. We're going to join the war against the demons in the Gorian Desert. Is there any news from the battlefield? The troops from Zorgan are on their way to Angapal, ready to attack the center of evil. They're only waiting for reinforcements which are currently camped outside Draconia. Meanwhile, the hordes of darkness are gathering in the Gorian Desert. A glorious battle lays before us! Mm, mission. Let's ask all the questions. Warrior. When fate overtakes us, we can't wait. We must act as we are commanded. That can be difficult for outsiders to understand. Believe me, I understand. A few moons ago, our highest lioness, had a vision from our goddess Rondra, a burning red lioness, the symbol of our goddess, 20 ears of grain, only half of them ripe. They stand for me and my sisters, and the statue of a mighty female warrior, embraced by a demonic creature. It's been long since we've had such a clear sign. When the lioness speaks, we obey. What's wrong with your companion? We were at our camp below the fog. When the Fakina surprised us, he slew my sister's horse and poisoned my sister with his dagger. We took him prisoner and withdrew here to avoid further attacks from his people. Fortunately, the poison is harmless, but induces fever, dreams, and drowsiness. So the poison is harmless. Why do you care if she's suffering then? She shouldn't die. Why don't anyway. you let the Fakina go? Never! He's too dangerous. It would take a divine miracle for me to let a cowardly murderer like him go free. All right. Don't take a look around. Yes, but don't approach the prisoner, or else you'll feel an arrow in your hand faster than you'd like. You're so nice to her. She's just like me. It won't be easy to coax her into giving me Rahwan. Hmm. Unless. Unless. Are you now, after all, I might have an idea, but. I'll need his necklace for it. What are you planning? Bring me the necklace, and I'll tell you. Gonna get the necklace. I need your necklace. Stay away from the Fakina. You're serious about taking the armor of those battle clerics? No, that would be foolish. I was just thinking about what I'm going to wear when I go to war, and whether we're going to fight side by side. You really cannot wait to die. Hmm? If you don't understand, then shut up. Alright, so there's some paintings on the rock. A man with a spear. Two men hunting some kind of misshapen beast. An apple is hanging from a tree, and a man is picking it. Okay, let's go up here. It's a branch. You can shake the branch. I can't or something. get the branches apart with my bare hands. I have a dagger, don't I? Okay, now the necklace is much closer to the waterfall. 
Oh, I can try to make something like this. Almost. If only the water level weren't so low. Hmm. I can't lose. Go back down here, and maybe I can take the stone and throw it in the water to raise the water level. I don't even know where I. What are you Oh, I just need to block here. Okay, never mind. Just need to create a dam here, I suppose. Much better. Bingo, I got the necklace. Thanks. Perhaps you remember the vision I sent you in the burial chamber as an explanation for the blood ritual. You mean the image of my bleeding hand, the smoldering incense bowl, and you? Correct. Well, you can't talk to the prisoner since the girl would get suspicious. But you could send him a vision and ask him to get on good terms with her. And how? With the spell of vision sending, which I now place in your hands. Oh boy, I got myself a new spell. Cast it on the necklace in your bag. And I'll explain the rest. Sounds like a bit of a cop out if I just get the, the spell, spell now. Works only on someone you have a personal item from, and you can only send visions of things which are nearby by using three visions only. You can tell the prisoner that he should get on the good side of the Amazon. Using three visions only? Yes. Direct his attention to his tormentor, then to him, and finally. To a symbol for friendship and sociability. S he will, without so fail, stupid. associate these three things with one another. He can't defend himself against it. The order of the visions does not matter. Person. Second one. And I guess the apple. That was wrong. Send him a vision. He will. The painting shows a woman with... A man with a... The image of... A group of people. Yeah, I think it's campfire. campfire. Shut up! Hmm. It didn't work. Wait for it. Zul, Asasha. Please do me a favor. Take this piece of cloth from my cloak and gag the Fakina. No daughter of Rondra deserves such abuse. Ow! Let him yell at. Oh, I have to use Gas spell on this. I see. Here. Rakhon and symbol of friendship. I can't get the Fakina out of my head. Hmm. Interesting. So I want to send a vision of her freeing guy. He hangs from the tree like a fruit, a sour, inedible fruit. He hangs from the tree like... Mm -hmm. This isn't working quite well. A burning lioness? A vision of my goddess? 
Oh, Rondra, what are you trying to tell me? I can't get the for... Why don't you? Never. It would take a divine miracle for me to... A divine miracle. This is exactly what I'm trying to get. Let's see. I'm gonna watch the, the painting again. shows a woman. A group of people. An apple is hanging from a tree. And a... The image of a... There you go. Got it. What is it? I... I had a vision from my goddess. She instructed me to pluck the prisoner from the tree like an apple. I must follow her command, but I need your help. What should I do? I fear for my sister should I let him go here. Take my horse, which you'll find behind the waterfall, and carry the prisoner up the hill. Once you're far enough away, let him go and send the horse back to me. You can count on me. Thank you. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna give her right. the horse back. There we are. I'll let you go. And in return, you must keep your promise and guide me to Draconia. Agreed? <sighs> Agreed. Then hold still, so I can free you from your bonds. See, she is actually going to trust him again after he betrayed her, not once, but actually twice. Do you really want... He already betrayed you once. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Sure thing. Sure you do. Don't worry, I know what I am doing. Wrecked. He almost killed you! Didn't you say you knew what you were doing? Yes. <coughs> I fell, and you caught me. I just didn't know how you would do it. <coughs> So you can transform flesh into stone. It... it looks like it. Yes? I thank you. My hands! And now to you. You know, I actually pitied you. The outcast Verkina, whose own people no longer want him. Who had to subjugate himself to the laws of the city and sold his honor just to survive. But the moment you hit me over the head with that bone, you lost all my mercy. I'm ordering you one last time to take me to Draconia. You'll feed me when I tell you, and you'll guard me when I sleep. Once I have arrived there safely, with the mask, only then will I restore your hands. My hands! That's right, you bastard. And if you don't obey me, I'll transform the rest of you as well. My hands, they're stone! <clears throat> Welcome back. We ah, very good. Are You're past right. the dream you? chapter again. What are you doing here? Where's the demon? Actually, I just came to fetch a few items, but I saw the two of you lying here, and I thought I'd build a fire. One chills so easily around here. Your haunted look tells me that you also have the dreams now, yes? By Rashtul's curls, what a mess. Have you succeeded in solving the riddle in the meantime? Yeah, I also dreamed of Sadia. Believe me, I did not want that. I'm sorry, but it is not too late. Forget everything you have seen just as you would forget every other nightly dream. Why? What's so dangerous about it? Oh, Sadia's story itself is harmless. It's only the end which you must guard against. One who carelessly tackles the end is dealing with forces which were better left undisturbed. I don't understand a word. And it should remain that way. I really, I know I wanted this already, but I really like the way the artwork is actually breathing, breathing the character. It's cool. 
The demon is Sadia's magic staff, right? Or someone who has it, and thus also has its power to petrify people. Ah, then that was the scene in the Rashtulian wall which you just saw. Unsettling, isn't it? That poor girl, all alone in the wilderness. Don't try to dodge the subject. Garon, who or what has caused this calamity doesn't matter. Just solve my riddle, and everything will be as it was. How did the riddle go again? As the stone over the scarab, so rules the scarab over the stone. Enter, if to you the answer is known. If not, then forever your life I'll own. All we need is the answer, right? The ruby is a stone. The stone is no mere rock. It's Sadia's ruby. She's a descendant of the Mogul, and the ruby is an heirloom. She was planning to use it in some way. Hmm. An interesting idea. But it doesn't explain much. Well, as I see it, we haven't really come any further. Not if you leave me groping around in the dark. Geron, I'm just a simple merchant. I'm also your friend. If there's something I'm keeping from you, then I'm only doing it to protect you. I didn't ask for your protection. I want answers. The answers you seek are dangerous. Geron, I'm warning you. Ignore the dream. Stay away from Draconia and beware the Garden of Oblivion. If you leave the gate to Draconia sealed, the visions will disappear on their own and nothing bad will happen to you or your friend. But if you pursue this path and make only one single mistake at the end, then a fate worse than death awaits you. On the other hand, if you just solve my riddle, then everything will be fine. Cool. Uh, so I just need to solve the riddle. Brider, get up. We've got him. What happened? What kind of dream was that? And by the gods, who made a fire here in the middle of the crime scene? That was him. Blast! Where did he go? Oh, my head. Ryder, what do you know about a place called Draconia? It's an ancient fortress in the Rastulian Wall. Built by dragons. Alric Bodiak's speciality. Why? Because I'm tired of these games, and because I think we'll find our answers there. You're not a simple would-be hero, are you? No. Let's go home. I'll tell you everything on the way. And we got to chapter 4. Great. This is actually harder than it looked. At least what the maze. Night. I can hardly keep my eyes open. How's your wing? Better. Good. Then let's try again. Do you remember... Chapter 3 complete. Nice. Isn't it a wonderful feeling to have defeated the seer and finally be free? What was so bad about him? I liked him. He had such a funny beard. You're mixing everything up. He didn't have anything like a beard. Hmm. Yes, you did that well. It's sad how Nori is uh, losing her memories, apparently. And do you also remember... Before we reached Enqui, we went rowing on the svelte, past fields and windmills. There were lots of cows. And the sunrise. Do you remember that? Yes, behind the mills. It's actually flying a bit higher every time. And now think about... We're almost there. <laughs> Do you remember that dwarf in the Tash Mountains? The one with the blue beard? He was funny. And the knight, Bogomil Rathling? The two of them were always arguing. And the grouchy fisherman, and Isida, the gypsy? I liked Isida. Ah, we were quite an heroic couple. We defied the greatest dangers and saved Andergast. Just you and me. And the raven. We were the best. You did it! You can fly again! Yes. What is it? I forgot what happened to the raven. Oh, Nuri. I want to leave it all behind me and start over. I want to fly across the ocean. Chin up. 
We'll get through this. Bryder and I want to find out what Fai is hiding from us. And once we know that, we'll finally be able to solve the riddle. Is this still about the story of that princess? That was all such a long time ago. What about now? Nuri, I have to know Sadia's whole story. And for that, I have to talk to Master Bodiak. He's the only one who can tell us what Draconia has to do with all this. Only once I understand it all will the two of us be all right again. And we can finally forget all the terrible things forever. I don't see Ulrich at his window. I hope he's here. All right. Um, I can save now. So we've gone through a bit of uh, chapters here. And I think I will end the the episode here for tonight. So uh, this is Adventure Games Thursday night. And this was part two of mm, our Memoria uh, playthrough. So I will see you guys uh, next week again on Thursday. Same time, uh, same deal. Uh, and thank you for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and you know the drill.